Hello everyone, we are here at Hollywood Studios for the Moonlight Magic event. We absolutely love these. These events are for Disney Vacation Club members and their guests. And we did invite some friends tonight, which is always so much fun. It is their first time coming, so they have no idea what to expect. That makes it even more fun for us because we kind of get to play tour guide all the way around the park. And also, you know, get to eat unlimited Mickey bars while yeah, we're that here. Too. That's kind of what I'm really <laughs> here for. There should be some really cool characters tonight. We've got our Rescue Rangers shirts on yeah. because they did send us an email before letting us know we're going to have some Rescue Rangers characters here. We're very excited about that. We actually love the new movie on Disney+. Plus, So we're going to have a lot of fun, maybe ride a few rides, definitely see some characters, get some snacks, and plenty of Mickey bars while we're here tonight. This is going to be our guide to the evening, and more importantly than anything else on this map, <laughs> I see one, two, three different Mickey bar locations. You can find me there most of the night, I think. Our model. Right. Am I doing a good job? <laughs> Got to get that Moonlight I Magic know. wristband. That perfect shot. Got the Moonlight Magic signs letting you know that you're going to be able to get your popcorn buckets here, along with some other snacks but they're not filling those up just yet. We gotta wait until the event officially starts at 9.30. We're gonna head in and maybe find something to eat real quick before the party starts. So our friends mobile ordered and stopped in the commissary to get some food, because they didn't actually eat dinner. We ate before we came though. So Alyssa's in there hanging out with them and talking. I noticed on the map that the popcorn bucket, if you've seen our Epcot Moonlight Magic video, the popcorn buckets were insane, the lines were crazy. They are available before the event starts only at Pizza Rizzo, according to the map. So I'm gonna walk over there and see if we can redeem one of the coupons for a popcorn bucket there so we don't have to wait in line later. And if it goes well, I'll get that, head back over there to where they're eating, and then we'll go maybe watch the wonderful world of animation before the party starts. I'm seeing lots of people leaving Pizza Rizzo with popcorn buckets and boxes of popcorn, so that's a very good sign. Definitely saves us a lot of time. Alyssa waited almost an hour or just over an hour, I think, at Epcot waiting for this bucket, so glad to get this out of the way before the party even starts. So they're not serving food at all. They are purely popcorn bucket central right now. So I'm glad I brought the coupon here. Gonna redeem that for that commemorative popcorn bucket and head back over to where everyone's eating. We've got plenty of buckets here. The official membership magic popcorn bucket. And you can use this in the parks another day to get $2 refills if you want. They gave each of us this sheet of coupons. They're good for a commemorative popcorn bucket, which is the same bucket we got at the last Moonlight Magic. So we don't need another one of those. And the other certificates are good for anything that is a Disney Dining Plan snack, the little purple icon. So I think we're gonna use all these for snacks tonight. Probably gonna get a num num cookie, maybe a drink, a few other things. Along with, of course, the free Mickey bars. So the wonderful world of animation's going on, but we're skipping it. We've seen it plenty of times. We're coming over to the market, which is open before the party starts where we can get free Jack Jack Num Num cookies. You're welcome. We stopped in Toy Story Land. Alyssa used one of her coupons for a Mickey ice cream sandwich. Pretty good call, but it's a lot after a Num Num cookie. The cantina's open all night. Of course, the rides here in Galaxy's Edge are open too. A little bit busy because all of the day guests have not left the park yet. There are still quite a few people here that don't have wristbands on, but they'll all filter out in the next 30 minutes or so, and it'll just be the Moonlight Magic guests. So it looks like we got a character stop coming up right here. This should be our Chippendale characters. Let's see who's first. I see Monterey Jack. It's Monterey Jack and Fat Cat. We'll have to go get in line. Everyone else is in line for the Rescue Rangers characters, but it was a pretty long line. So I'm here waiting to get ice cream for everyone and take it back to them in line. Can I get one strawberry and two Mickey bars? Get the strawberry bars and two Mickey bars. Thank you. First Mickey bar of the night. Definitely not my only Mickey bar of the night. And I'm back in line here for the Rescue Rangers. It's so Hi. good to see you guys. You guys look like you're enjoying the party. Yeah. We came prepared. She's got the Rescue Ranger shirt. I got Monterey Jack, of course, the best He's Rescue Ranger. I understand. It's okay, Fat, Fat Cat. Cat. I'm sorry. I know you're reformed. It's okay now, right? Like, no more evil? Well, a little bit of evil. A little, little bit. Okay. A little bit. Keep We're enjoying in line, the Monterey. dance moves, though. You had some serious dance moves. I like that. <laughs> After we saw Fat Cat and Monterey Jack, the line is not too bad. So we're gonna go ahead and get back in line. That was about a 15 minute wait from this same place. 
and they said in about 10 minutes, Chip and Dale in their Rescue Rangers costumes are coming out. So we're gonna go ahead and get back in line and wait for them. Well, while they're in line waiting for Chip and Dale to come out, another round of ice cream sounds like a good plan because it is 96 real feel out here. I think I'm gonna go for the strawberry bars this time. Trying something new this time, right? We'll get more Mickey bars later. <laughs> Woo! Sometimes some crimes go slipping through the cracks, but these two gum shoes. Woo! You guys are jamming Woo! over here. Yes. I like it. I didn't know you were that talented with the air guitar there. We came ready for you guys. We, have, we, we have came been waiting to see for you. you. Yes, I have my Rescue Rangers. We're He's got Monterey fans. Jack. We came just for you two, no one else. So we appreciate you throwing the party. I know this was all this is all you're doing. So thank I know. you. And of course, we know which one is the best of the two of you two. So we'll, we know, we know. Yeah, uh -oh. yeah, yeah. They'll have to duke <laughs> it out later. Uh. <laughs> A dance party. The AC is the real reason we're excited, honestly. Whoa, is she dressed like Powerline? What? Her costume. performance by Max and Goofy was something I needed in my life. Oh my goodness, that was incredible. Was. A Goofy movie is my number one favorite Disney movie of all time. Goofy's my favorite character. That was awesome. I love they're wearing their you Goof Troop costumes. That. Like the emotion, the song, and the, power. the dance. Oh my gosh, that was incredible. Oh I'm sorry we couldn't play the entire thing, but you know, YouTube copyright, all that fun stuff. However, if you want to see the entirety of the concert, we've uploaded that separately. It's linked in the description because that video can get demonetized or whatever, but I just want to make sure that you can see a little bit of it here in the vlog if you don't want to go watch the whole concert, but you really should because that was incredible. It's so good. Every 90s kid, your childhood is brought to life with a lightning behind them and everything, oh. and it was just silence in the room so because cool. nobody wanted to interrupt Nobody them, even I wanted to dance. It. Nobody even wanted to dance oh. with them. They were just watching. It was so, so good. good. Okay, that dance party worked up an appetite. Can I get a Mickey bar, please? Mickey bar. Thank you. Another one. <laughs> one of the snacks you can get is the special 50th anniversary Coke bottle. That is so cool. We were also able to get the almonds, which is awesome because these things are so good and we always smell them when we're going through the park. So Mickey and Minnie are in here, but they're in their regular red carpet dreams outfits. So I'm not sure we're gonna wait for this. Oh my goodness, Darth Vader is out here. And I just heard noise. I think the ad ad up there is shooting. Yeah, that breathing is intimidating. Okay, that's cool. It's shooting. 
I have not seen that in years. Didn't even know it still worked. So Chewy's here and R2's here. That's cool. Hi, Chewbacca. Hi, Chewy. R2, oh, good to so see you good too, to buddy. See you. Hi, R2. Good to see you, Chewbacca. Yeah, Monterey Jack. He's he's out in the other part of the park, so. Just kind of yeah. hanging out. Back on Earth. I think it's another galaxy. Yeah, it was. It's, yeah. it's pretty far, really far away. All right, it says a 15 minute for Smuggler's Run. I think it's probably gonna be shorter than that. We're gonna ride and then head over towards Toy Story Land, see if we can find some more characters. Pretty much walk on. A few other people here with us, but no real line to speak of. Hey, Hondo. Hello, hello, my friends. I am Hondo Onaka, and this is Onaka Transport Solutions. Today, I am offering the opportunity of a lifetime. I need flight crews to transport this valuable merchandise across the galaxy. Pilots to navigate, engineers to operate the ship, and gunners to defend the shipments. And that is where you come in. Right, pilot, push the flashing button to take off. Okay. Pilot to left. Move your stick to fly right and left. Looks like we got some stormtroopers walking around here. Never a good thing to see stormtroopers. Your legion seems misplaced. 
Oh, they're harassing little Leia. <laughs> The snack coupons we have also work for the blue and green milk, so I decided to stop by and get myself one. You just can't get the souvenir cup, just the regular little cups. Awesome, thank you. Blue milk. Looks like we've got Woody and Jesse over here. They've got a little bit of a line though. I think we're gonna keep walking. We've decided to head over towards Tower of Terror and Rock and Roller Coaster. Looks like Buzz is out here too. I'm sure he's promoting his new movie, Lightyear. Here is our gang tonight. All the friends we invited hey! to enjoy Moonlight Magic. Having a ton of fun, eating all the snacks. Rock and Roller Coaster is basically a walk-on, so we're gonna go ride. Alyssa is not gonna ride, though. She still doesn't ride this. Apparently the lights are on a timer because at exactly midnight, they all went off out here and it got very dark. It was very weird. While they're riding Rock and Roller Coaster, I'm getting some snacks for us and using the rest of our coupons before the end of the party. They ran out of Mickey pretzels, two people in front of me, so I'm now over here getting a slushy instead and not sure when I'm gonna use the other coupons before the end of the night. What is Beethoven's favorite fruit? What? A banana. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Maybe I'll turn this show back on. All right, let me tell my science joke, all right? And then I'll, then, you know, I'll take jokes from the crowd. There's some crowd work. They seem fun. So a photon walks into a hotel, right? The desk clerk says, hi, sir. Do you need any help with your luggage? The photon says, oh, no thanks. I'm traveling light. <laughs> Someone back there liked the joke. See, I like that joke. Because if you, if you understood it, you laughed. If you didn't... Robert's lemonade slushy that he got. Again, another free snack item for tonight. The lights are back on out here. It's a lot brighter now. Final round of Mickey bars. These are all free snacks we got tonight. The strawberry bars were free. The Mickey bars, we did have to use our coupon as well as the slushy and the Coke drink, but they were all free and included tonight, which is amazing. Final strawberry bar of the night. Well, it was a little longer than the 15 minutes because they were kind of broke down for a minute, but this will probably be our last ride of the night. No tower. We got four minutes to make it to tower. No need to run. You can make it if you walk. Alyssa went and made a one final ice cream run. She's got ice creams for us while we're waiting in line for tower. We can eat those. Finally made it to you to the check-in desk of the Hollywood Tower Hotel. Looking a little dusty in here. Been in line for about 25 minutes of the stated 50 minute wait, but we got in here before the park closed, so we'll be getting on the ride. You just crossed over into the Twilight Zone. Ready for one final ride. I love this ride. Oh, and some advice for next time. <laughs> oh, I forgot it. Oh, wow. uh, what was it? Oh, no. Time? There won't be a next time without I don't want to send you without. I got I, I to gotta remember it. <laughs> oh. oh. Just take the stairs. <laughs> when stormy night long ago, five people stepped through the door. <laughs> was a new one for us. Yeah. So Caitlin was sitting next to me and we had a popcorn bucket and there was popcorn inside. She had it in between her legs. And the lid was on, the lid was secure. But the lid popped off. The lid just But it's very dark in there off. so we didn't know that until I started smelling butter 
and things started raining on my head and I realized why she had bent over during the ride. Mm -hmm. So we're both laughing. And I see this like stuff falling and I reach my hand out and popcorn <laughs> lands in my hand, which of course I promptly, you know, popped in my mouth because what else do you do with popcorn that rains from was, the sky? I thought it was localized to just us until we started getting looks from people in front of us and Robert looked over and he had popcorn. It, it was not just We realized them. it was not just us. Thankfully, everyone was laughing at the end. They were not upset about it. Everyone was cracking up inside. We did apologize to all of the cast members. Oh that because entire, we felt so bad. The whole car were just covered oh in goodness. popcorn. We didn't even have that much popcorn. I don't even know where it, it came from. It wasn't full, which is crazy, but it there was nuts. so much in there, apparently. They did say it does happen more often than we would think. Made me feel a little better. But I still feel bad because we do know, of course, they have to clean it up. But it was just so funny. What a way to end the night with showering popcorn all over Literally. Tower of Terror. It is 1.20 in the morning. The event ended almost an hour ago. So of course there are very few people left, just those who are on rides. And it's quite empty in the park. This is just the coolest time to be in the park in the evening. We are super tired. After two late nights in a row, we are ready for bed. Tonight was incredible. We had so many amazing moments. We always love Moonlight Magic, but yeah. I feel like this one was extra special, especially because we had Goofy and Max do oh, eye to eye. Oh my goodness, the perfect cast. That was just goosebumps. So it was incredible. So I absolutely love that. Of course, the popcorn shower, that was also a pretty good moment. Memorable. Overall, like so many fun things tonight with the characters, the ice cream, the rides, the crowds honestly were not bad at all. No, this is actually not. one of the least crowded Moonlight Magics that we've been to in yeah. a long time, like even back to 2019. I don't know if it was just less people or people weren't standing in lines. I don't know what was going yeah. on, but either way, we had a ton of fun tonight. I'm so glad we got to come. And it is always more fun, especially for us when we have friends, mm -hmm. especially friends who haven't been before because it's all new to them. We had a great time and we are completely exhausted. So we will be signing off. Thank you all for joining us. We hope you had a great time tonight too. Until next time. We're here with the ears.